Welcome back to Retro Games Rediscovered. I'm Rusty Ingalls and on today's episode I am going with a friend to uh, a retro game show in uh, Detling in Kent. It's a bit of a Comic Con as well so um, let's see what happens. It's absolutely tipping it down here so um, I don't know if you can hear the rain but let's get going. Here we are this is my friend of mine, Simon. Say hello, Simon. Hi, Simon. <laughs> we are at, where are we? In uh, Detlin. At the Counter Showgrounds at the Comic Con Strike Retro Games. Event. Yeah, and it's, uh, we've only just got it, so it's pretty good so far. All the proton packs are all original from the film. Oh really? Oh. Bit on the floor on the under panel there. Yeah, it flips over and there's rollers on it for the coffin to go. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like fiberglass, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is it heavy? Oh, it's light as a feather, isn't it? Not after about an hour, it's not. I bet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look great, though. You look very good. This dude's jacket. exciting actually there's lots of different people here and lots of different walks of life and everybody is just having an amazing time um, I've already met Chewbacca <laughs> I met lots of different stormtroopers I met um, Pennywise the clown hi Georgie and I'm toying with the idea of having one of the clown getting one of these mystery boxes as well okay, there's a Marvel one gaming mystery Lego and a mega bag Uh, I reckon middle. middle. Yeah. Mega 
mystery bag. <laughs> yeah, the British Army sort of changed in the last sort of uh, sort of 10, 15 years. Um, we, we now need sort of like the the, the logistics is changed with uh, with our vehicles going forward, using sort of Xbox controllers to sort of drive our tanks, and even our many sort of robots. Um, you know, the drone capability is massively increased with the current war that we were in, going into the current war that you know uh, is hanging about. Um, the versatility of all our machinery sort of uh, means that we don't need that soldier to be sort of confronting the enemy and you know getting in with the mud. We also need the tech savvy uh, individual to both understand how to use the robots, how to use computers, how to get onto you know um, talk to people through that means uh, and interact. And it also means that a lot of our recruitment basis is soldiers that have that capability or can develop that capability. Mm -hmm. So what's the army's position at the moment? So obviously, we've got people with AST, but they are absolutely computers of that thing. It's a really, it's a really good question. Yeah. Um, the, the, there is obviously um, rules put in place, uh, especially things like the Royal Marines that are looking into that. Uh, my son has uh, issues where uh, asperges, so I, I know the British Army is constantly evolving, constantly changing. Yeah. So I couldn't give you an answer now because it would be a case-by-case -case medical yeah. study. But I, I, I would recommend anyone go to a recruitment office, have that conversation. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be a slam door interview. It will be let's work with you is what it is. The army isn't what it used to be. We're investing into the soldiers, uh, and like you said, if you've got a capability and that and something that we're missing, you know, um, if a foreign army is already developed in that and they have got the right person for the right job, but yet we're keeping the right person for the right job behind it because we're not prepared to. Open yeah. So, yeah, as I said, really good point. It, it's not a question that I can answer to that. From, from my point of view, um, the Army uh, the Tri Service, you know, it's yeah. not just the Army, I'm talking from a, from, yeah. a, from a grassroots of what I've come from, but from the Tri Service of what I've seen uh, and the people that I've worked with and being on the spectrum within the military, um, yeah, we're definitely going the right way. Concentration. <laughs> No! Who was that? I'm third now. Robbed. Okay, let's screw this up. Since when did you go big on that? Go big or go home. That's my uh, mantra. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, it was an absolutely brilliant day. Um, everything was there, and it, uh, yeah, it was just really, really good fun, and obviously people living, living their best life, to be honest. It was, uh, yeah, brilliant. If you ever get a chance to go to one of these things, I'd highly recommend it. And also, there was, um, well, there was Fat Thor. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.